<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the other side of the coin. I've just caught up with all the Champions League drama that took place in the last 24 hours. Wow, what an absolute madness, man. Where do I even start? I want to talk about a few interesting players who we've been linked with and I feel like we need to we need to do something about this in the next whether it's in the january window whether it's in the summer window we'll see and i definitely want to talk about vinicius jr oh my god chelsea scout please 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 find us the next vinicius jr if we if you can i know a lot of people are saying but Miz, have you been living under the rock we've got we're getting estevar william yes estevar william on the right side we need someone on that left side man um, to absolutely light it up. And look, Esteban William, yes, he's an absolute superstar. Is he going to come into the Premier League and absolutely light it up? We'll see. I mean, the the footages so far, the skill set, the skillfulness of this player kind of tells us that, yeah, he will be he will be a, hopefully a massive banger in, in, in the Premier League. But let's see, let's see. In that left side, though, oh, you know, the way Vinicius plays, oh, my God. But we're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. First, I want to talk about, ladies and gentlemen, John Duran. John Duran is turning out to be an absolute serious level striker, which now poses a question. And the question is Nicholas Jackson, ladies and gentlemen. Nicholas Jackson is a bit of an enigma. I mean, we continuously talk about him i guess we talk about him because we're not fully satisfied yes he's done well don't get me wrong i've said many times on this channel i know a lot of you guys have been saying recently this now we need to start in kunku this that the other and kunku is a better finisher and whatnot look i've stood up for nicholas jackson many a times on this channel right and i've copped a lot of insults and abuse because of it all i will say is that i feel Nicholas Jackson is someone who you can utilize as a as a second secondary striker. I feel like with Nicholas Jackson, I don't know whether we're going to be able to compete for the Premier League because that that's the goal, right? That's the goal, not not the goal for this season, but definitely next season. Whatever wherever we finish this season, whether it's in the top four, whether it's fifth, sixth, anything below that, I think is a bit of a failure. Wherever we finish between third, fourth, fifth, sixth, next season, it has to be a challenge on the title because you want to progress, right? And I'm not really sure whether players like Medueke, players like Nicholas Jackson, are they really cut out? Are they really cut out to, you know, take us to that next level, take us to that, to that wonderful place that we once used to be? And that is the conundrum for me with Nicholas Jackson, ladies and gentlemen, and with Madueke, that they do a lot of things that are excellent, you know, off the ball, work great, link up, you know, they do work hard for the team and they do score. Of course they do score, but it's not of the ilk of your Didier Drogba sort of vibe that kind of player that's going to just be able to win matches on their own, Diego Costa kind of style. John Duran, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you guys saw the goal that he scored for Aston Villa against Bologna. By the way, Aston Villa, what a madness, man. What type of madness is this? Unai Emre, unbeaten in the Champions League with Aston Villa so far. I think they've beaten Girona, they've beaten Bayern Munich, they've beaten... Bologna. And John Duran, goal after goal after goal, yet another lovely goal, beautiful delivery into the box, and he was there strong holding on. Do you know what I mean? Like he wasn't budging. He, he held the defender on, and then he flicked the ball through and scored a lovely goal. John Duran, what type of goals haven't we seen so far? He can score with his head. Long range shots. He's got that. He's got a catalogue of of that technical ability in terms of shooting. Technical ability immense. Inside the box, he's lethal. Scoring goals for Aston Villa in the Premier League, in the Cup, now in the Champions League. I think he's got two goals in the Champions League so far. 
and also for Colombia as well in the international he scored. John Duran, ladies and gentlemen, our scouts, wow. Kudos, once again, kudos. This guy, I know the boat might have sailed. I know he's going to be an expensive player. I know he's recently signed a new contract, but my word, he's young. It fits the project. I don't know how much wages he's on under the new contract. I'm pretty sure he's got a bump a new wage with Aston Villa, but maybe Chelsea still needs to monitor this player. as a big-time player brewing over there. Next up, Jokiris. Ladies and gentlemen, Victor Jokiris for Sporting. Oh, my God. I know this one is a little bit outside of the policy, the project policy in terms of age. I believe Victor Jokiris is, what, 27? But he's, he's another one of those guys. Blockbuster, man. Physical strength. Just throwing players away from him. Pace, power. The ruthless level of finishing. The goal he scored last night in the Champions League. Wow. Took the ball so deep. Jeremy, you know I mean? almost midway through, middle of the field. And then he just blissed past the, I think it was Strum Gratz, Strum Gratz, or I don't know, one of those Champions League teams, right? Blitz past the defender, cut in, and then slotted a shot. It's just. He's also on fire this season, man. And Victor, you're curious. This is off the back of last season, the craziness he did as well. You know, I know we want to stick to that policy. I know we want to get a younger player, but just we've got a lot of young players, right? Maybe just once. I know Tosin. Tosin, we've done it under free transfer. But maybe again got a lot of young players we can balance things out with Victor Jokiris I've said it from the get-go Victor Jokiris is the perfect player I feel like under Enzo Maresca wouldn't mind John Duran one bit either another one um Gurassi ladies and gentlemen wow I didn't watch this brother often enough last season when he was playing for Stuttgart but now I've seen him a few times for Dortmund he looks like a monster he's another one which is way outside of the project policy in terms of age Victor Jokiris, if we think he's outside of it, but with Jokiris, the other problem is his release clause is, I think, nearly £90 million, something like that. Wage-wise, I think we can afford Victor Jokiris. Gurassi, wage-wise, I think we can afford him. Age is a bit of a factor. I don't think it'll cost too much either, but he's brilliant, brute, so nimble inside the box. He's mobile for a big guy. He can hold up, he can link up, good technical ability on the ball, can, has got a vision to put an assist, lovely assist. Yesterday for Dortmund, I think the goal scorer was Daniel uh, Milan. So look, there are options out there. You know, Benjamin Sesco is going to be another one that's going to be up for show uh, later tonight in the Champions League. There's a Bayer Leverkusen player. Boniface, who's doing well. I think there's another Le Leipzig player um, named uh, Appenda. He's doing well. So the, the striker market is buzzing, I, I feel like now. These strikers are growing. And I'm pretty sure our scouts, they'll, they'll find, they'll do another madness like they've been doing in recent times. Omoro Dion. The bottom line is, I'm, I'm not... I like Nicholas Jackson. I'm not calling for him to be sold. No, not at all. I think he is quality for the squad. He can get those starts, sometimes come off the bench, that secondary striker. Because right now, our secondary striker, there's a problem. Because I don't feel Nkunku is an out-and-out -out striker. At, at the Premier League level, I mean. I think in the Conference League, Nkunku will be buzzing. But the Premier League out-and-out -out striker, I'm not really sure. And Kung is another one of those second strikers. I don't even actually mind if Nicholas Jackson played off of another striker. We have a striker up front, then Nicholas Jackson, uh, yeah, Nicholas Jackson playing off of him. Another striker we forgot, Ossiman. A big goal a few days ago for Galatasaray. Scissor kick, bicycle kick. He's doing madness over there as well. And apparently we're not still out of the Ossiman situation. He was very close to signing for us the last summer window. 
So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, let me know your thoughts. I feel like from a striker point of view, if you want to, if we want to go to the next level, I'm not saying get rid of Jackson, but we do need to add an absolute lethal weapon up front. We can't keep relying solely on Cole Palmer to produce all their assists, to produce the goals because we saw what happened. The oppositions only seem to rate Cole Palmer. They don't seem to care too much about others in our team. Yeah, the others can do a bit of damage, no problems, but for them, the biggest factor is Cole Palmer. Now, I want to talk about Vinicius because I feel like our wingers, wow, man, we need our wingers to be more cutthroat, attack the box a lot more, need them to be involved in scoring goals a lot more. Yes, Madueke chips in with a goal here and there. Yes, he gets an assist here and there, but more cutthroat. Look at the way Vinicius plays, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. Look at that comeback from Real Madrid. Vinicius Jr., what can he do? Shooting from range. Curlers. Finesse shots. Pace. Dribbling ability. My God, he's unbelievable. Please, Chelsea scout, do something. I know you can do something. Find another brother from Brazil. I know Esteva. <clears throat> I know they've found Esteva, and Esteva is going to be a... Revelation. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be an absolute revelation. Look, he's already broken Neymar's record, right? When he was 17. So, yes, there is a talented player in Esteval. And I'm pretty sure he's going to be focused on scoring goals and assisting as well. But on the left side, man, Sancho, look, Sancho's a nice player. I'm not going to lie. He is. But need him to be a lot more cutthroat. Need him to attack the box and look for goals. Sancho is more interested in assisting now. His confidence for scoring goals is not there. Mudrik, out of action. João Felix, don't know how we can fit him in. We really do need to somehow find a way. Maybe it's that left side. Pedro Neto definitely is knocking on the door. Pedro Neto needs to start playing in the Premier League often. And then give someone else the opportunity in the in the Conference League and the domestic cups. But we need wingers of the ilk of Vinicius, man. That's the level that we need to aspire. Unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know your thoughts about everything that I spoke about. How you feel about John Duran. Do you actually believe that we need a striker? Someone to support Nicholas Jackson. Do, do you believe that we need that? Do you think Nicholas Jackson is the right guy to lead us for a title challenge down the track? Also, our wingers. Do you believe they need to attack the goals a lot more? They sometimes feel a bit too passive for me. I need players to be more of the ilk of Finishes, the way he smells blood. Oh, my God. Let me know. Let me know your thoughts. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. Smash the like button. If you're here for the first time, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to stay in touch with all my content. Till next time, take care. Say bye.